Hello, this video is a quick tutorial on uploading an Excel test case into QTest. So the first step is navigate to the test design section of QTest here at the top. Second step is we will go to our root folder here. So in this case, our project is the BNB sandbox. And we actually have an import Excel uh, test case button right here at the top. We'll click that. And now the next step is probably download the sample import template uh, to give you an idea of what the mapping and fields will look like in Excel to QTest. Um, so let's take a look at that really quick here. So I have it downloaded right here. And we can see that we have preconditions, step description, expected result, etc. Uh, the one thing missing here is test case name. So remember to set up a test case name. Um, what I did is actually use an existing test case and just renamed my headers. So I'll close this one and show you that. So I have my import test case right here. So what I did is I uh, renamed the test case uh, column to test case name. I have step description, expected result, uh, test case type, um, and then a custom field here uh, called system. And once you have that mapped, then you simply go back to uh, QTest. And from here, we can actually just drag and drop. So we have our import test case wizard open. Uh, I'll simply drag this here. It accepted the file, so I'll hit next. And then from here, we map our fields from Excel to QTest. Um, so I've already uploaded before, so it remembered my mapping. Um, but I can remove a couple of these and show you what that looks like. So at the top, we have available fields for mapping. Um, and then down here, we have QTest fields. So QTest field, test case uh, name, for example. We want to grab our Excel column uh, test case name right here and just drag it down. Uh, same thing for status. And then test case type. So once you have all of your fields mapped, uh, we'll hit import. And then hit OK and refresh. And then from here, I'll drill down. And if I go to my GTS folder, I can see my test case imported right here. Now, one thing to note is I did import this directly into a folder. Um, so the first thing you have to do to do that is in the top up here, we have a toggle IDs display and select the uh, first one. So it's right here at the folder level modules. And that will add these MD-4, MD-5 uh, prefix to all of our folders. And then if we go back to our uh, upload template, what you do is you find the folder that you would like to import into. So in our case, it was MD-10GTS. And you rename your sheet uh, to the same thing. And when you go to upload, it'll put it in that folder. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment.